Okay, in this question, we want to find the R equivalent uh, seen from terminals A and B. Okay, as you see here. Okay, so before we start uh, finding R equivalents, um, first we look at the circuit and see if we can do some simplification. Uh, for example, when I look at R5, as you see, the R5 is a, just a loose uh, resistor, meaning that one side of that is not connected to any part of the circuit. So therefore, you can just and uh, remove that, it's just open circuit, right? You can just remove it from the circuit. So loose elements, uh, even if I had another resistor here, another resistor here, just lose resistor, just we ignore or remove them, open them. And the other case is when we see a short circuit. So as you can see here, so I see we have R1, but one side of that, node B, and then the other side, node C, basically uh it, they are connected so it's short circuit so we can somehow just uh, we can say this is a short circuit and they say we can just replace r1 with a short circuit or in other words just because there is a line here okay so therefore like one case is uh when we have just a um use r we should just open it Open circuit. And then when we have a just basically a, a, just a wire that maybe somehow connects two sides of an R, then this is just the goal of this is the short circuit. That's a short circuit. Okay, so now going back to our example. So again, the R1 is uh, open. Uh, sorry, R5 is open. R1 is short circuited. Okay. So therefore, what we see here is we have R2 and then we have R4. They are in series of each other. So R4 and R2. And then they are in both of them are in parallel, like the combination of R2 and R4 is in parallel with R3. Right. So therefore, I can somehow equivalent of this circuit. Just um, you had R3, and then you have R2 and R. And this is terminal A and B. So, therefore, the equivalent circuit would be R2 plus R4, then in parallel to R3. Um, so therefore, Let's say R equivalent is equal to R3 in parallel with R2 plus R3. Yeah. So again, this is short circuited R2 plus R4, then that's in parallel with R3. Okay, so if you want to somehow find the value. When we have two parallel uh, resistor, it's R3 times whatever to see is R2 plus R4 divided by R3 plus, again, the value. Okay. This is the equivalent resistor for this set. Okay, so the most important thing here was these two basically scenarios. When we have a loose R, you just open it, remove it from the circuit. And when you have a resistance and there is some short circuit like this, it's basically just, uh, it's just short circuit, okay? And this may look like differently. So in one circuit, it may also look like this. So you have something like this. Okay, so the shape doesn't really matter. The look of that doesn't matter. Okay, so the most important thing, it might be look, look like this. The fact that this, this is short circuit. So, okay, so basically if this is not A node, A not A, so we can just easily remove that. Okay, it's just short circuit. So the whole, this is the whole, just one more. Okay, I guess we have one, one example like this. Okay. Um, so now let's look at uh, this case. Yes, that's the example. 
Uh, so the question wants to wants us to find R equivalent seen from terminal A and B. So again, I want to look at the R equivalent from here. Okay, again, let's first do the simplification. So I don't see any loose um, resistor, but I see a short circuit here. So as you see here, this R2 is basically short circuited. Um, so therefore I can just short circuit this and um, you can just, just remove the short circuit. It just, the whole thing is just one node. This is just one node. So therefore I have R1 and I don't know, let's call this node C. And then that node C is connected to R3. So R1 is connected to R3. And then the same node is connected to R4. And then R3 and R4 are connected here. This is also terminal B. And R1 is terminal A. Okay. Okay, good. So that circuit, the whole circuit, somehow I shrink this to this node. So now I know the R equivalence. R equivalence here is R3 parallel with R4 and then added with R1. So our equivalent is R2 parallel to R4, and then it's in series with R1. So plus. Okay. And the next question is. Um, again, find R equivalent seen from terminal A and B. Okay, so somehow your, this is your terminal A and B. And you want to see what's the R equivalent that these two terminals see. Okay, so again, let's do the simplification. So there's this uh, loose resistor, I just remove it. Uh, this R4 is short circuited. You can just say again, remove it or just short it. Okay. And then when you do this, then R3 and R4 are, sorry, R3 and R5 are now in parallel. So these two are in parallel. R3 parallel to R5. Oh, and then they are parallel with R2. These three are in parallel, basically. So, and then, Oh, look at R1. R1 is also in parallel with them. Why? Because one side of R1 is connected to here, the other side of R1 also connected to here. So uh, interesting. After we shorted these, so all R1, R2, and R3 are connected from one terminal, and then the end of that is also the connected with R5. Okay, so basically the equal circuit would be okay. I can just rearrange this R2. R3, just for you to see better. But of course, uh, you, could, you could just um, do it at your mind and you don't have to draw it again. So R2, R3, and then R5, and then even R1. And see, terminal A and B are basically here, right? Here. So A and B see all these resistors in parallel. So R equal is R1 parallel to R2 parallel to R3 parallel to R4. Um, sorry, R5. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. Okay. 